Hello Aquarius. We're going to do a quick reading for you guys. I did a reading for the air signs today. Um, I did Gemini, Libra, and now I'm doing your sign. This is just a, you know, special general reading. No reason, just drawn to do it. And um, yeah, let's see what's going on. I feel like... Um, some of you are definitely moving forward in a situation, but let's see. The first card will be the recent past, the middle card will be the present, and the final card will be the near future. And then we'll pull to clarify those as well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what's going on with Aquarius, please? Aquarius past, present, and future. Thank you. In the past, we have the Ace of Swords. So in the past, I feel like either you wanted to speak the truth to someone, um, or you see things differently now. You see things very clearly. I feel like you've opened your eyes to see something. What else? What else? For the present, what else for the present for Aquarius, please, Spirit? Aquarius. One card, please. What does Aquarius need to know? Thank you. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. This feeling is a feeling, and this is intuitive as well, a feeling of you doing whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. That's all I keep hearing is whatever it takes. This can be a somewhat reckless energy. So just be careful, Aquarius, that whatever it is that you're doing, it's not too um, over the top. And the near future. What's going on for Aquarius, please, in the near future? And this could just, honestly, this could also be just not seeing things clearly uh, again, but I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like it's whatever it takes. We have the Eight of Wands, talks about movement, um, talks about communication. Some of you might even be moving from your homes, um, but this also talks about communication. So let's see, um, let's get some clarifiers. Do I use this deck? No, let's use this deck. Spirit, please clarify the cards on the table for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know, please? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Thank you. Thank you. So, the Emperor in Reverse came out. I feel like you feel like you lost your um, control in a situation. You lost control in a situation, that, um, and that bothers you. That really bothers you. Yeah, we have the Five of Wands as well. Um, you know, this this is something that um, you definitely lost control over. You, you don't have... Um, things aren't stable. Things aren't stable. There's a lot of drama. I feel like with the King of Wands, it's time now where um, you, again, um, feel like somewhat of your power back where you're going to take control to move forward. Um, we have the Knight of Swords here in reverse and I feel like, like I said, that feeling of whatever it takes to make something work. So why is the Knight of Swords in the reverse, please, for Aquarius? Knight of Swords in the reverse, please, for Aquarius. Again, just be careful because, you know, we have the Page of Swords. Again, it's 
you know, speaking your truth. There's a lot of thought here with you guys, and that doesn't surprise me at all because you guys are heavy thinkers for sure. What else? What else, please? Why is the Knight of Swords in the reverse? We got two cards the empress so now we have the emperor in in the reverse and we have the empress this could be regarding a, um a couple regarding you know um, a marriage perhaps we have the fool so that's a new beginning you want it a new beginning with this empress and um there's just so much drama though there's so much drama in the past there was so much drama but you're willing to take that leap of faith you know and do what it takes right i said that before whatever it takes to make things work with this empress there's going to be some talking that's going to be had we have the eight of wands here please clarify the eight of wands there's going to be a lot of communication between you and this empress and you know gender doesn't matter guys it's just the energy thank you what do we have we have the four of wands this could be regarding a home i'm telling you or the home life we have the seven of swords so again the seven of swords this could represent um in the past there were lies you're going to be talking about your home life you're going to be talking about the past perhaps letting the past go lies cheating right deception one more card please what is this talk going to be about what is this talk going to be about now we can't take all those one card please thank you yeah not happy not happy so i think it's finally going to come out that you guys aren't happy in a situation and it's going to come out in conversation and you want to make it work so again, you want to do whatever it takes to make it work. You're tired, you're worn out, there's a lot of drama. We have the Nine of Swords, you lie in bed, in bed at night thinking about this situation. You know, what, what can you do to change this? And there's going to be a conversation between the two of you and hopefully that will fix the situation. We'll get some cards and, and see what's going on. Let's see. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this situation, please? What advice? What advice do you have for Aquarius? Thank you. Have patience, Aquarius. The temperance card came out. Spirit is saying, have patience. Try not to fly off the handle when having this conversation. The Eight of Swords. You know, don't be stuck on one subject. Don't be stuck on one thing. Don't be stuck on the negative. Underneath the deck, we have the Lovers. So I feel like there is love here. One more card, please. What advice for Aquarius? Thank you. Keep an open mind. See things clearly before you, you know, before you open your mouth. And again, in the recent past, I feel like you have seen a lot. You, your eyes have opened up to a lot. There is a lot of drama that you do not like. You know there is conflict there could even be jealousy um, that you just don't like you're in your head over this because you're unsure what to do but you feel like you need to do whatever it takes to make it work right so what 
there is a conversation that's going to be had when this conversation is had you guys are going to have to be patient with your words with your thoughts and make sure that you know whatever you're talking about is can be backed up you know what is the outcome please what is the outcome please between Aquarius and this person what is the outcome please spirit what will the outcome be what will the outcome be thank you well somebody's going to be doing a lot of thinking whether it's you or the other person somebody's going to be doing a lot of thinking underneath the deck the seven of pentacles so it's about making this relationship grow it's about moving forward in this relationship somebody's going to be thinking about you know do i do i do that do i do that do i make it work we have the three of swords underneath that as well because you know nobody wants to get hurt right nobody wants to get hurt all right aquarius so i gave you the rundown you're going to have to let me know if, you know, you guys have the conversation and how it works out for you. Um, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I love, love, love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.